Well, during COVID, we have to be creative. I mean, we can't fly to Mexico for cave diving, so we have to do whatever we can do locally. So we're gonna dive under a bridge in New York. Sounds great. The Pon Quag Bridge, known to the locals as the Quag Bridge, connects Long Island, New York, to the barrier islands of Dune Road. Next to it is the old Quag Bridge, partially removed, which is popular for fishing and scuba diving. It's so popular for diving that it's a local marine park. Cameraman Todd lives nearby and dives here frequently, so he will be leading the dive. We're shore diving from the old bridge right out of the back of our cars. brought his super high-tech rebreather so he could stay on the bottom for 15 hours. I brought a scuba tank. It's probably not full. We submerge into some of the murkiest water I've seen this side of the Cooper River. The water is filled with particles stirred up by recent storms. But we came all the way here and we're already wet, so we might as well have a look around. I find a big flounder but it has no interest in posing for my camera. It's so murky that we lose each other beyond about three feet. The bridge pilings are festooned with life, sponges, tunicates, mussels, and bryozoans. On the bottom, a Forbes sea star is hunting for mussels. This one is chowing down on an unfortunate victim. Nearby, a pair of mating horseshoe crabs. The male has latched onto the female and goes wherever she goes. They're on their way to Walmart. A juvenile black sea bass has found itself a nice bed in a clamshell. Looks comfy. Ever seen a spider crab with muscles? Well, this one must work out because it has big muscles attached to its shell. That was a dad joke. We come across one of the most interesting fish in this part of the world, the sea robin. It has modified pectoral fin spines that it uses like fingers to dig for food. It's too bad the viz is so poor because there actually is a lot of marine life here. Who knows what I'm missing because I just can't see it. I find a nice orange sponge, but hanging around it is a tropical butterfly fish. In the summer, lots of baby tropical fish end up here, swept north from the Caribbean in the Gulf Stream. But as the water cools, these tropical fish will not survive. A lot of divers collect them for aquariums and save them from freezing to death. Pretty soon the tide changes and the current starts picking up. It's time for us to make a retreat back to shore. I sure hope Todd knows which way to go because I can't see squat. That was 
not the best fizz in the world. But it does go to show you that you never know where you might find a cool dive site with interesting marine life. I mean, it's a bridge, but under that bridge, there's an entire ecosystem of marine life that's hanging out. And even if the viz is bad, it's still pretty awesome. Hey everyone, thanks for watching our latest episode all the way to the end. You're crazy if you don't subscribe. Hit that subscribe button now so you won't miss our next episode. And check out our merch link in the description for some Blue World swag. <laughs>